What is up everybody in YouTube land? It is your friendly neighborhood appliance technician Chris. And I'm going to show you guys how to braise. Um, this is kind of a video that I've um, started due to popular demand. Okay, um, This is a video that some of you guys asked for uh, on the chat. Um, you all know who you are. Shout out to you guys on that Voxer. Um, and uh, thanks for suggesting content for me. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to try to get this thing brazed in. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to braze a copper to copper connection with standard silver solder. Stay with me, guys. Okay, first let's go over the tools that you're going to need to take care of this. Oops, helps if I, uh, you know, retain all my stuff here. Okay, the solder I'm going to be using is right here. Uh, this is a rod, it's a shorter rod. It comes in um, a lot longer lengths, of course. Uh, I'm using 5% silver solder to braise a copper to copper connection. This in case, this in this case being uh, a 90 to a roll. Now, you'll notice I haven't cleaned any of these up. That's not necessary with this. Some of you guys that are used to sweating fittings like in a plumbing application, you guys won't have to worry about that with brazing. Brazing gets hot, uh, temperatures hot enough to where it will melt and the solder will flow. Um, I'm also using a oxyacetylene torch. Uh, I believe this is a number one tip. Uh, oh no, this is a zero tip. Um, this is what I use for all of my stuff. Okay, and I have a striker. Okay, now I have been known to use lighters, and you've seen me use lighters on other videos. That's not the correct way to do it. Okay, you're gonna always want to use a striker, that way, you don't blow yourself up, you're not holding the bomb. Okay, uh, number three, or whatever it is, I have a wet rag. Okay, I'm gonna place that immediately over my joint once I'm done brazing. All right, so with that said, let's get our bottles on right here, oxygen, acetylene, and for reference, uh, this turbo torch rig right here is one I've had for a great many years. Uh, it has served me really well. So, uh, we'll get this torch lit. This thing is such a kind of a pain sometimes to get lit, so bear with me. When you light a torch like this, okay, um, this is something I feel I have to touch on too. You have your oxygen and your acetylene, okay? You're going to turn your acetylene on first, and then you're going to light it with this striker, okay? Apparently, why is my oxygen on? Purge this for a minute here. Like I said, this torch is a little bit temperamental, guys, okay? So just bear with me. See, that's a little bit too hot, so I want to reduce it down till it's just smoking, and then I want to barely crack my oxygen. And you'll see that flame change, okay? See that flame change to about right there? You don't want it making like a little rocket noise like that, okay? Now, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is a little very fine blue point. Uh, let's see if I can point to it. Right towards the end of this flame, coming out to right about there-ish, okay? You're going to see a very bright blue flame, okay? You want to keep that off of your joint a little bit, okay? Now, I kind of turn it just beyond where it's making that sort of rocket noise, turn my acetylene up a little bit. Now, there's very, very fine adjustments on a tip like this, okay? That's about where I want my flame. It's good and hot, okay? So, what I'm going to do is heat the joint up, okay? I'll kind of do it so you guys can see it. And I'll keep my flame just off of the joint right here. You can see I'm holding it about a half an inch and I'm going sort of back behind where the fitting is because you got to remember solder is going to follow heat. Okay, now it's starting to glow and now what you want to do is I just use that dot right there 
and it'll flow really quick, okay? See how it's glowing red? That's how I know, and that's changing color, and I can kind of smooth it out, smooth my joint out, and there you go. So what I do, and it happened really quickly, okay, is I'll dab my solder on the joint, okay, and you'll get a little puddle, all right? Uh, you'll get a puddle, and then once that puddle starts to do what's called a capillary action, we'll stick our wet rag on there. Okay, hear that sizzle? That's a good thing. Um, you're going to want to do that as quickly as possible uh, when you are in a refrigerator or something like that, okay? Now, you saw it happen kind of quickly, but I'll go over the process with you here, okay? We'll get this joint back to respectable looking here. Okay, now, I don't know if you can see it. This camera will focus on it, but that's a good joint. See how it's all sealed all the way around? You don't see any cracks or anything like that? That's what you want, okay? Now, because the fitting was glowing, I, I kept my heat on it a little, a little long for kind of demonstration purposes. I, I don't usually do that. What I'll do is I will touch this, uh, my solder, to the joint, and it'll kind of make a little dot, okay? When it makes that little dot, when you first get your flame on it, Keep the flame on that about like I showed you until that dot starts to liquefy, okay? When that dot begins to liquefy, then you can move the rest of your solder around a joint. Another thing that will help you guys, okay, um, is to bend this thing into a little L shape, okay? Uh, if you're in a tight spot, I find it works to bend your solder into a little L shape so you can get around. Now, see, watch what I do. Uh, or watch what happens when I stick this L on that joint. See how it goes all the way around the joint? I'll make sure you guys can see it. See how it goes all the way around the joint? Now if that's a side I can't or if that's a side I can't see, that's gonna coat that entire joint once you get that what they call capillary action, which is that liquefaction of the solder that I was talking about, okay? So that's pretty much the long and the short of how you braise. So let's go over the process again. Get your flame on, okay? Dab your solder on there, okay? You, you get your flame. All right, get my flame going. So I'm holding it on, da 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 I dab that solder on there, okay? It'll make a little dot before the fitting starts to glow, okay? Now your fitting is always thinner than your existing pipe, whatever you're, whatever you're raising to, okay? Your existing pipe is always gonna be thicker than your fitting, okay? So your fitting will change temperature first. So I want to keep my flame on the fitting, okay? But I don't want to get it too hot so that I punch through it, okay? Glowing red is fine, uh, and that will actually get it a uniform temperature. So the solder is going to follow the heat. So what I want to do is, like I said, dab my solder on, and it'll start to kind of liquefy, and it's going to suck that solder right in. As soon as that happens, I want to immediately start going around it with my rod, just like this, okay? So I want to immediately start going around it, and it'll create a joint. Now, when you're inspecting your joint, okay, let me, let me see if I can get this here. Uh, when you're inspecting your joint, that is what you want to see, okay? Solid all the way across, a nice even puddle on either side, okay? And uh, when you go down below underneath it here, you can kind of see a little bit of a drip on the bottom here. That's also fine, okay? So I can look around this joint. If you're in a tight spot, get an inspection mirror, okay? Make sure you can go all the way around this thing and not see any cracks, all right? And uh, when you're dealing with sealed systems, the first thing you want to do for leak detection usually, or what I do, is uh, take a vacuum pump, put a vacuum pump on it, make sure my joints are good. Make sure it'll hold vacuum for a little while, okay? Um, we'll go over the, the leak detection process in another video, uh, but suffice it to say, that's just a quick tutorial on how to braise, guys. Um, I hope that helps some of you. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much, guys, for watching.